song with Beyond the sea She's there watching for me Hey guys, welcome to this uh, little vlog on the go It's oh, been a while since doing my last one And there is a very, 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 very good reason why um, One of the main reasons is, is that we've moved home uh, moved house we have quite a bit of a distance away from our old one so um, something had to give and sadly it was my vlogging because I've had to before moving I had to like do up the old house sort of thing pack boxes come to work sleep and eat and I just didn't have enough time to do anything else um, moving went so easily thanks to my mate who helped us move thank you Robbie um, we pretty much unpacked the majority of stuff in the first night. Um, I went with the first load, stayed at the uh, new place, and I unpacked. Uh, I made both the beds up, took the bedside cabinets up, and moved all the uh, stuff out of the way for the fish tank. So that was pretty, pretty, pretty good actually. So I'm like, yay! Um, but saying that though, it's still a bit of a mess, and I'll show you why in a moment. I've decided where I want my YouTube in corner, and that's going to be downstairs this time. And just next to the fireplace so it's going to look quite nice one sad thing is though that Totoro got slightly damaged and his ear broke off so um, and plus my YouTube corner is a little bit smaller and that's why I wanted the folding seat so I can put it away when I don't use an ear and stuff like that but anyway Totoro got a bit damaged so um, I pretty much spent the last month repairing Totoro but it's looking quite good it is yeah so uh, that's pretty much done uh, I picked up a shed this week, so happy days. I'm going to get that repaired and uh, built up and everything. Um, the shed's actually really good quality. Saying it was free, okay, there's a few bits on it that's rotten, but I don't really mind. You know, I can replace those easily. So get that repaired. Then I've got somewhere to hide when the missus is on one. Yeah. But anyway, hopefully I'm going to include some photos, you know, of... Um, the new house in my uh, shed that I'm going to be building. I need to get some nuts and bolts for it. Yep, it was held together with dirty bit, great big nails. It was. I'm like, I'm not using nails again. And if I'm going to use screws, it's got to be all the same screws, not different screws, all the same screws. Yeah. But anyway, so I'm going to include some photos of that. I think. I know it's collapsed up in the garden, but I'm going to include some photos of that. I think I had painted it blue and pink, like a beach hut. Yeah. And doing some major modifications to it eventually. Anyway, so that's pretty much that. Um, slowly getting tidied up in the dining room as well. So hopefully once the dining room is tidied up and um, my YouTube unit corner is available, you can see what I've done because at the moment it's a bit, a bit of a tip, a bit of a tip. There was an oven in the way which Kim sold. Uh, oh yeah, Kim came off a bike she did, uh, cut all the face up down the side, four hours in Paget was not fun, was not fun whatsoever. Plus is I did my wrist in, which the phone is holding, and I was sitting there with the bandage and people are just looking at me thinking, is this your handiwork? Somebody actually said, is this your handiwork? And I was like, no. Um, oh, the back passage is cleared finally. Since moving in, I've been trying to clear the back passage uh, because it had like the monster weeds and uh, brick rubble and everything like that. Um, message to council. I showed them what I did and they said, glad to help you. You've done good. So uh, they came and uh, cleared out half the shit. So I'm like, yes. Um Apparently YouTube is changing its um, monetization thing. But I'm not going to let that stop me from doing um, vlogs and stuff on that. It's just trying to find the time to do the vlogs because like I said moving in I've still got boxes to unpack, toe tray to finish off, shelves to put up, things to sort out, work to do, work to do, what would be my work and work I mean like work at home and work here, sleeping and eating, yeah. But I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Oh on a sad note though, um I don't know, really know how to put this. Kim's granddad passed away. Yeah. Lovely guy, 91 years old. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant man. Um, you know, I'm gonna miss him. He was a really brilliant man. I am, seriously am, gonna miss him. 
Um, yeah, anyway, I am actually glad that Kim, Sylvie and Martin did drag me down in August to go and see him because if I didn't go that would have been the last time I saw him would have been a few years ago so I am really am glad I got dragged down there to see him and I helped tidy up his flat sorry masonette um, helped tidy up his masonette it's not going to be the same going to London without seeing you big man no no anyway I better be going now hopefully somebody's going to turn up and uh, you know, so I'm not just sitting here wondering, no, some with a builder guy just there scaring the crap out of me. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to get going, so if you like to hit like or comment or even subscribe, please, because uh, your subscri you subscribers do mean a lot to me, and I am ever so grateful for you subscribing. And I do apologise for the uh, long pause for between this while we've been moving and sorting stuff out so uh, once again thank you for watching and uh bye kimbo hmm. got my helmet on haven't you yeah you know what happens if you don't wear my helmet or a helmet i feel like a twat well turn around and let's have a look at the other eye because that's what will happen if you don't wear one if you come off your bike. Goodbye. Bye, darling. I love you. I love you too.